What's going on my fellow farm all brothers and sisters? All right, so yesterday I found a, a, a little something on Facebook Marketplace. And um, long story short, I struck a deal with the guy. Got something really cool. So stay tuned. You're going to find out what it is. my friends I was just out here walking around looking at some stuff that I got to get ready to move around and um, yeah eventually we're gonna have to try to get this thing over to the shop so when I start working on another 300 we can start refurbishing this definitely uh, ready to get this, uh, this back hoe on that other 300 but unfortunately the problem is got to get all the 300 running first so <laughs> but anyway yeah I was just out here just assessing some things and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do hydraulics for the outriggers and everything instead of having it with the pins but anyway, so I was on Marketplace um, the other day, and I don't know, just trying to find like a trailer or something, just kind of searching around and kind of seeing what's available out there. And uh, it's definitely a nice day out here today, that's for sure. Um, so I found a guy with a trailer. Uh, I've actually found a couple people with a trailer. And uh, long story short, I got talking to somebody, and I made a trade with a few things. And I end up spending only $500 in cash for a 16-foot Hudson uh, trailer. It's a 10,000-pound rating trailer. Tires are good on it. Deck is really good on it, as you see. Boards, perfect. Um, obviously, it's a 6-foot wide trailer. So, if, you know, as long as I'm hauling a tractor with a narrow wheelbase, I can get it on here. But I'm thinking what I'm going to do is end up doing a future video on... I'm going to probably go ahead and extend this deck rail out to about here. Um, either I'm going to look for new axles or I'm going to probably split these axles and see about just widening them um, and, you know, putting them back together. But I wouldn't mind making this deck a little bit wider. That would give me about a 93 inch um, if I go outside, you know, just to the edge of these tires. That would be perfect for what I would need. Um... Kind of interesting. Somebody walled these up and used a uh, rebar <laughs> for the dining plate. It works, right? It gives it an edging. It's strong. But all in all, um, trailer's in excellent shape. Lights work. Um, he converted it over to electric brakes because the uh, it's basically almost like a um, U-Haul style trailer. You know, it's got the hydraulic brake system on here. I think I'm going to undo this whole unit, and I'm going to go ahead and just do the plate on the front right here and do the new tongue off the front. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the hydraulic brake system. Plus two for the jack. I want to mount the jack back in the middle where it originally was back when this trailer was made. Seems like this trailer was um, at a rental place. Uh, that's who used it. Um, but it tracks straight. Um, all the lights work. Um, the electric brakes work on it. Um, the electric brakes are set up on the two front tires. The back tires are still set up the hydraulics if you want to use them. Like I said, I personally like the electrics. Um, nice ramps, heavy. It's got the chains. 500 bucks. I mean, come on. 500 bucks and some trade with some parts. I mean, would you guys have passed this up? I know I definitely wasn't going to pass it up. It was definitely a, uh, a good deal. As you see, like I said, for the most part, tires are good. They're not dry rot. I mean, it's a heavy-duty trailer. So, anyway. So, that's my video for today. Was just wanted to show you guys... What I found, what I made a deal on, and what I brought home last night. 500, 500 bucks. I mean, come on, look at that thing. You could not beat that deal. So, anything I decide to do to it in the future, as far as widening it, doing whatever, building some sides for landscaping stuff, that's like more than worth the price of this thing. So anyway, that is it for my video today. I gotta go inside, make up some bigger chicken uh brood boxes for the chicks um we ended up stopping to rural king and we got uh, a couple new feeders for them and then i ended up getting three more uh ducks i don't know i enjoyed having the ducks but uh we got three more ducks and um yeah, it looks like i might have to do some repair possibly on this ramp somebody tried to repair it i don't know about that weld i don't really like that um but anyway and then yesterday i ended up buying six more chicks <laughs> Yeah, I think we're up to about 25 now altogether. 
So I said I wasn't going to go that high, and here I go. I'm still going that high. But anyway, I'll probably do a video on uh, making this bigger brood box out of the Tupperwares. But that is it for today's video. Um, let me know what you guys think of this thing. It's a uh, 1986 Hudson 10,000-pound uh, trailer. Tell me, would you have paid uh, 500 bucks cash for this? I don't think too many people would have turned this down. So, anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'm actually working on the next video right now of the powder coating of those uh, rims for the Super A. Um, that video should be coming out next week. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see that video because you guys are definitely going to want to see how those wheels look. The That powder coat, that uh, the Super Chrome 2 that I used, awesome. So, anyway, that is it for today.